In the beginning, they installed the first school in the land of Nile. Then they used force to force these primitive beings into the schools. After some months or weeks, we don't know, they realized that some of these primitives were not primitive. There were quite, quite intelligent ones among them. And the most intelligent one they called Saurit, the Arabian form, Saurit. And then the historians say clearly, Saurit is the same which the Hebrew community calls Enoch. Be careful now. According to Arabian tradition, this happened before the Great Flood. They say Saurit, who was the most intelligent one, is the same which the Hebrew community called Enoch. So let's go to the Hebrew history, switch to the Hebrew history. Enoch. Before the Great Flood, which is again the Old Testament, the Bible. Before the Great Flood, you have ten prophets or ten patriarchs. One of them has the name Enoch. And according to the Bible, Enoch is the first man who disappears from this planet in a fiery chariot. So here you have Link again. Now I stay with the name of Saurit, but you always have in mind Saurit and Enoch, the same figure. So Saurit was the most intelligent one, and they learned Coconut how oil. to write. After he could write, they dictated him 300 books. By the way, in the story of Enoch, you read a similar story. But now I stay with the Arab tradition. They <coughs> dictated him 300 books. While he was writing, one of the teachers from heaven appeared and said, a terrible water catastrophe would destroy the surface of the earth. So he heard this, and he said, well, in that case, it was all for nothing. As in that. Well, they teach him. All his books would disappear, and mankind, after the great flood, must begin again from the beginning. So they, they had nothing to learn from their time. And he kindly asked the teacher from heaven, to construct a gigantic building. In this building, he would make different small rooms, and in these rooms, he would put all his books, so that after the water, they should not restart again. And he would make this whole building and, waterproof and by laying stone plates all over. This is true, you still have some of these plates down here. It was all covered at once, with these big stone plates. So, so clear, so, so nearly, that you cannot even put a razor blade, a blade between it. 